what are you saying in your house or what is speaking in your house sometimes you are not the one saying it but you are allowing demonic atmospheres around your house negative atmospheres let me tell you this i'm sure it has happened to someone where you are soaking yourself in an atmosphere of worship or a message and then you fall asleep and you find out it still continues with a stronger atmosphere of power and sometimes you wake up under such an intense influence Adam who told you what have you given permission to speak into your life who have you allowed to program your thinking to program your mind to alter you dear prophet of God who did you start listening to that you stopped believing in yourself what did you start listening to that suddenly made you all rules to become a weak person words make strong and words make weak words make wise and words make foolish words bring power and words bring limitations listen let me tell you this when I get up in the morning sometimes I walk around room to room every room in my house is an altar I don't care whether it's the toilet whether it's the bathroom you know you can have designated places but it does not matter where sometimes the revelation you need can come in the kitchen you are washing your plates but there is an atmosphere. Shani Salika Bragadu Ziata. And the Spirit of God says, Now call that person immediately. And you make that call. And the person says, You are a spiritual man. I've been, I was just trying to call you. And that begins a new season in your life. Hallelujah. Can I tell you the truth? Do you know why many people go to bed? and several people have negative demonic atmospheres because they do not pay attention to invest in atmospheres over over seven or eight years ago i preached a message called the law of atmosphere everything that happens on earth is atmosphere dependent destruction is atmosphere dependent breakthrough is atmosphere dependent the growth of your plant agriculturally speaking is atmosphere dependent that means you kill things not by killing them you kill things by taking the atmosphere i mean medical science teaches us that there are advances in medicine right now that are mastering the art of studying viruses and bacteria and certain living organisms they study the habitat that makes them conducive is that true and they create medical mechanisms that try to extract away the atmosphere and that's it it just dies there are many things in my life and your life that have remained because we have kept the atmosphere that promotes it for instance there are many people who come and program negative things in your house because you have not created a system that honors God there. Are we together now? Yes. Some of you, your cars are full of all kinds of things. You drive for 30 minutes and all you are hearing is something that pollutes and destroys your mind. You left your house courageous. By the time you got to that place of the interview, you were already defeated because you had something. Who told you? Who told you when God was sending us to Abuja all I needed to know was God are you in it and then grant the grace listen one of the things that by the grace of God I thank God for the grace to have done is to culture my atmosphere my atmosphere is very strict very strict very very strict very very strict very very strict very very strict you create that because you see many people's destinies depend on your motivation many people's de destinies depend on your inspiration 
Are we together? Some of us, if we check our phones right now and we see what is in your phone, both in terms of songs, videos, etc., we will need to plead with you to run and come out right here. Don't wonder why familiar spirits are, are all around your life. They come in response to atmospheres. Is that true? Yes, sir. Are we together? Negative atmospheres. Ah, this Nigeria, will we ever survive? The way this thing is, I hope we we'll even see the end of the year and these spirits brood on what you have said. I'm teaching you a technology right now, Koinonia. Listen, I'm not teaching you to ignore realities when you see it. No, there are times we discuss issues, but you must understand that as a spiritual man, the modus operandi of creation is that you must fill your heart with the word of God and out of the abundance of the heart, alongside the influence of the spirit, you begin to speak. May God bless you. Somebody comes to see you and says, listen, things are not really working well in my life. You are under the influence of the Spirit. When the Spirit of God came upon Elizabeth, remember the mother of John, what did she begin to do? Speaking. You see it happen everywhere. The moment the Holy Ghost mantles people, they begin to speak. Trying to change your confession without allowing the word of God to work on your heart will only be hypocrisy that does not carry power. There are many people who have tried to do it. Oh, I will try to speak right, but they are not interested. The content of your heart is what inevitably reveals itself through your words. And please hear me. Next time you speak, don't you think you are just using words to explain or using words to inform more than using words as a tool for explanation and information. The most superior use of words is for programming because when God spoke the first word there was no man there yet he spoke so in order of priority and by the law of first mention words are not just a channel for information words are not just a channel for enlightenment the most superior use of words is for creation I'm on my way to better days I'm on my way to paradise. That's my confession and I truly believe it. I'm on my way to paradise. It is true for me, it is true for you, it is true for Koinonia. You receive a letter. You are being relieved from that job. Ah, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Because the Bible says, listen, every time you don't know what to say, start with atmosphere. Let me teach you a principle. Every time you do not know what to say, just keep quiet. Program the atmosphere. The atmosphere will affect your heart. The heart will affect your speaking. Your speaking will now change or maintain the reality there. Just to let you know that you lost the business, you lost the job. It may be painful, you may cry because we're humans. But while you cry, you can just go and set something. Or for some of you, they may even tell you, you you've lost a loved one. Just like that, God, this person shouldn't have died. And then you go and put something that will program a climate for you. And in the midst of that climate, the Spirit of God. Have you noticed in the atmosphere of worship, you will always hear what he's saying. He will begin to encourage you there is hope for a tree even though it be cut down at the scent of water huh. let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy land please hear me when you understand the prophetic power of this mystery i just taught you indeed you will be a king because you will know how to program things you can imagine as a man of god i get text messages every day some of them good some of them not so nice some of them even conditions about people people in koinonia here and 
the principles of fatherhood and leadership demands that when something negative happens to someone it touches you and let me tell you there are times you have to train yourself just know that the number one rule for your dominion is atmosphere don't forget this this night the number one rule for your dominion is atmosphere i don't care what is going wrong make sure that you don't lose the atmosphere if you are crying crying in the right cry in the right atmosphere apostle i thought that by now god would have opened that door i thought that by now ah. but lord i give you thanks because your word says in all things i give thanks you are creating an atmosphere father i know that i've looked on to men and it looked like they are not able to help me my uncle gave me a guarantee that the job is coming now the job came and my name is not there father i will not be offended i refuse offense in the name of jesus offense will be a trap that will give the devil access to my life i reject offense in the name of jesus i walk by the law of love but oh god the bible says they looked onto him and their faces were lightened so i look to Yahweh, Yahweh. I'm showing you how to change atmospheres. My hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. So Lord, I look to Yahweh, Yahweh. My hope is Yahweh. Just to let you know. That they finally given you their word still you do not throw the atmosphere father thank you praise god from whom all blessings come lord i thank you you are the giver of this and the bible says whatsoever you do it endures therefore i expect my result to endure this is how a spiritual man works are we together this is what i declare over koinonia all the time in the name of Jesus, I and the ones that God has given me, we are for signs and we are for wonders in Israel. I believe it. When I pray for Koinonia, I pray for Koinonia everywhere. US, Europe, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. As you bless me, you are blessing my people. As you lift me, you are lifting them. Yes, sir. Pharaoh, you must let God's people go. In the name of Jesus. When you hear something negative, don't grumble around and say, no, it cannot be. That's emotions. That's not a spiritual man's approach. A spiritual man does not jump throwing tantrums. You may cry and do all of that, but when all is said and done, atmosphere. Remember again, atmosphere. And the atmosphere begins to play those worship songs and your spirit is getting enlarged and strengthened. And you begin to pray sometimes you begin to pray in the spirit and you may pray for hours until it breaks away that limitation then you begin to prophesy in the name of Jesus the gates of Abuja open up I decree and declare lift up your heads O ye gates you must become a prophet in your destiny thank God for koinonia but this 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 baby pampering you need to grow out of it win yourself and begin to walk with strong mates hallelujah in the name of Jesus I decree and declare my finance is blessed the Lord himself is bringing people to bless me the work will not suffer we have supernatural finances the wisdom of the Spirit is at work in us week in week out the Word of God comes in season where people of discernment speaking to yourself in Psalms see this is how we got here let me tell you it is not magic you are too big to come under the influence of the holy spirit and to begin to speak forget about dominion kings reign through their words let me give you one more word and then we'll pray someone is going to return here with a strange testimony in the name of jesus christ Psalm 141, two scriptures. God's standard for maturity and perfection 
is the extent to which you have gained mastery over your speakings. Psalm 131 verse 141 from verse 3. It says, Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth and keep the door of my lips. In other words, Lord, grant me self-control. Self-control over my words to understand the value, the creative value, the programming value of my speakings as the believer in Christ so that I am not careless in the use of words. I don't program ill, program negative things over my life. Now let me show you a very powerful scripture. James chapter 3. James chapter 3. Give us beginning from verse 1. I want you to pay attention. This will be my last reading. And then we'll take a few minutes to pray. My brethren, be not many masters knowing that ye shall receive the greater condemnation. Uh-huh. For in many things we offend all. And if a man offend not in word. Is that in your Bible? The same is a mature man. Entire whole. God's standard of perfection is the scripture worthiness of your speakings the degree to which you have cultured your, your your words which is a product of the strength of the word resident within you the bible says he is able also to bridle the whole body you now see it there that your words control your body three behold we put bits in the horse's mouth that they may obey us so he's saying you want the body of the horse to obey you and the area you focus on is not the legs is the mouth and we turn about their whole body through their mouth verse 4 behold the ships though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds yet are they turned about with a very small helm whithersoever the governor listed that means these giant ships ships that sometimes are bigger than this auditorium by far and yet you will see it's a little ruder 